I was on fitting tube for using a Danzler type of tube for um, uh, probably about seven years up until the last year. I didn't really know that there was an alternative. And so I was, it was just what I had to do to make do. And um, I had had a, a couple of minor infections right around the stoma site um, over those seven years. And, and uh, about a year and a half ago, um, I had a bad infection and it wouldn't clear up and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And uh, at about that time, same time, I, I had to have a, a tube replacement anyway, just as it reached the end of its useful life. And so we went up in stoma size from a 22 French to a 24 French. At that point in time, it started leaking pretty bad. And so that was embarrassing. It was, um, I, 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 when, when I met uh, Cynthia, I was, I was, I was uh, in, a, in a pretty bad place. I was frustrated. I was hurting because the, the stomach site was really inflamed. I was really ready for some help. Once I was in trouble with, with uh, hyperventilation and pain and everything, I went to the internet and uh, found the Ole Foundation and uh, talked, to a woman, uh, talked to a woman there. She referred me to Cynthia, and so I called Cynthia. And then Wendy and I went up to uh, Sacramento and, and met with her, and, that, and that's how the whole ball started rolling. I've always been super active um, and, and super healthy. Uh, and so um, after I first met with Cynthia and we made a, all the changes, then it wasn't more than, uh, certainly within six weeks and probably within a month, I, I was pretty much back to normal. So that really, really helped. How has Quorum impacted John's life on tube feeding and your life together with him on tube feeding? At this point, it's, it's brought back a, a better quality to his life, to, to things that he enjoys. He's able to get back to a normal life. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think he's healthier. Mm -hmm. You know, he's ha certainly happier, so that's huge. That's, that's an all around positive. Mm -hmm. And he's more willing to go out and do things again, you know, physical things. I am definitely not a person that's just, that, that just gonna roll over and die. I wanna see stuff, even I can remember, I can remember coming out of the hospital for the first time and, and just really just appreciating the blue sky and the clouds and birds chirping and stuff. And um, I still do that kind of today. I was, I was sick with an autoimmune disorder of the peripheral nervous system three years prior to getting uh, cancer. And I was in the, in, in the hospital and hospital and convalescent home and, and rehab center. Uh, for for uh, about three or four months, and uh, I can remember the first time they rolled me outside, and it was just it was just an amazing experience, and it's just something that you can't can't take for granted, and I don't take it for granted, and I don't want to stop seeing it, so I certainly don't want to die. I got a lot of living to do, so I'm not going to let little stuff like GBS or cancer slow me down, so.